Welcome, Steve, Don, and Rick Gomez. What's Gomez. Happened, man? How are you? Good. Great, what, man. What in the world did we just see? Oh, man. Man, that's such a great question. Tell, him, say, tell the people, Steve. How do, we, how do we start? Okay. We were, Rick, okay, we were shooting a short. Okay. In Sonoma County that Rick wrote, directed, and I acted in. And while we were shooting and watching our, you know, dailies and, and sitting around having a bottle of wine, we were laughing at the idea, um, um, a friend of ours became this kind of spokesperson for this company on Facebook. And it was really kind of, and we were watching and we were kind of laughing at just kind of this ridiculous, like, you know, intro that was really fancy. And then, and then there was this lag before he started. And it was like, hey, and what he was doing was not as great as the intro. So we thought, hey, we should, we should just do this thing where we're, we're, we sell crap on the internet. And we came up with the name in like a minute. Because I was thinking Facebook, we just yeah. were like, how about face deals? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to continue, Rick? Oh, no, man, it's you're on a roll, dude. No, but uh, then, go. Yeah. No, it, that's, where, that's where it was born from. And then, but here's the thing. We had the follow through of actually going, I was shooting something back east. And Steve's like, how about after you're done shooting, come over to the house. We'll go to this little studio. We've got, a, we've got a buddy over there who's got this great little studio set up. Scott, who's a big part of the show. Scott Hall, screen and, on. And Scott's got his green screen. And so we, we decided, Steve's like, come on by and I'll just pack a box, a cardboard box full of stuff from around the house or crap that I've collected over the years. And we'll just start selling it as if we have a TV show to sell them to. We'll have a call in number and we'll do the whole thing. But we'll never know really what comes out of the box nest. We'll never talk about it. We'll say a couple of keywords. Scott will put something in YouTube. That'll be what's playing in the background. And we'll just, there'll be no thought. It's just, it's about no thought, no thought. Just go, 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 go. Total improv. And Total our improv. rule was whatever we did ended up, had to be put on YouTube. We no, and we no can't re and no we couldn't re do anything. So if you couldn't, watch, do it, couldn't do it again, and in post production, because that's where I was going to go. Like, how do you post produce? No, 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 no. Because all we did was add stupid visuals and things like that. So we did the forty of these in one day, right? Oh my god! We just kept going. We get, just kept going. We and and we go like, well, what's the background for this? You know, the assistant. And I was like, we would just go. I don't know. Two people walking on a beach. And then he would come up with a, okay, is this good? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And then yeah. we would just go. And so we did, we did 40. And, and they were just kind of, it, it, look, we don't, Rick, Rick and I, we don't golf. Okay. So this is kind of our golf. Like, yeah, hey, let's no take a trip to Vegas yeah. and golf. We're like, no, come yeah. to my house and we'll do some improv. That's, so, yeah. so, so then we put it on YouTube. And this company saw it and, and they asked us if we could do like a, a show, like a half hour, half hour show. Version. Yeah. And Rick and I were like, I don't know, man, sure. <laughs> and so then we tried to figure out like, what would you, how would you expand beyond, like the, there's a certain insanity that the, the normal little shorts have of selling a pickle held helmet or a massager or a, a boot or whatever it is. And so there's a little bit of insanity for that, but then how could you expand that insanity? And what would these two guys come up with if they were given a budget to make a half hour show? And so then that became, we get to really be in the minds of these two knuckleheads who have enough money to make a half hour show. And that, and this is literally what they came up with. These two idiots who are us. And what is the, again, for me, I want to know, like, as I'm watching the two of you, your characters on screen, I want to know the story behind how did these two meet? Are these high school students, like high school buddies? Are these random, by happenstance, just got together one day and they just hit it off? I think, see, I think they've known each other for a little while. And yeah, then they're they, like they, they still, you know, they're, yeah, they're pals. They're old yeah, pals. And, they, and, you know, they thought, hey, everybody else is doing it. Let's do it. 
Yeah, yeah. And the problem is with all those other people in it, right? You have the you have this commercial that comes in every once in a while. Well, we, look, when we 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 um, partnered up with uh, Wrigley Productions here in Lexington, Kentucky, um, we got their studio and some of their equipment, and like three, four crew people, and we and we got together, and Rick and I really got into a room with this, you know, this wall of like where we just started writing. And we didn't know what the show was going to be. We had a rough kind of idea. It's these two guys and it's going to be their, their idea, that, their life within the show. But we didn't know what we were going to do. So we just had these ideas and we started writing them down. And we, we basically wrote this thing in a day. And then we shot it in like three days. Yeah. That's nuts. That's crazy. It yeah. was crazy. So a lot of it was post and kind of trying to put it together. Yeah. Um, um, and then, and then we had the idea of animated. We kind of thought of it as it kind of evolved into this like adult electric company. Yeah, totally. Kind of like ayahuasca the electric line, but there's not adult. the through line of you know creepy birds. Yep. Adult oh. <laughs> spiritual ayahuasca enlightening electric company bed <laughs> trip cell thing <laughs> and win prizes show. Oh, um, no. That title was too long. So how long ago did you guys shoot this? How long ago was the production on this done? Uh, right before the pandemic. Oh, it was, yeah, right before. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and what's the um, uh, what's the next stage of more episodes or more? Uh, yeah, what, yeah, like where's it going? I love it. We, yeah, we want we, we want it to keep going, and that's part of the deal. Is sort of like get it out there and let people see it, and then and then get it to some folks and try to find. Look, we 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 the really cool thing about this thing is. We get to play and control it ourselves. It's small, it's self-contained, it's a studio show, it's all that stuff. And so we get to just play around. And so we'd love to keep going, wouldn't we, Steve? Yeah, let's do it. But yeah, it, it, yeah, it's just finding a home for it, basically. Yeah. But, um, but were, were there a couple of items that did not make the real were there because i love i love when you guys were doing the uh the workout gloves and you guys had the image of people like those buff men in the pool lifting sometimes the back what was happening in the back was more amazing than what was already more amazing with you two right that just added to it right totally. well, and we still try to keep it even when we were you know doing this pilot Remember, we still try to keep it spontaneous. We didn't want to, we didn't oh, want we to. Oh, we did those the same way, yeah. We, we, we were just like, I, I don't know, people yeah. wait with thing. And then yeah, yeah, Scott yeah. came up with that and we we're like, oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Scott, you, Scott did a lot of work with that too. Like Scott, Scott has a great, just it, uh, absurd way of subtly tying together what we're doing and what's in the background and, and in this really cosmically troubling way. He's a, he's kind he's kind of a genius when it comes to like how our stingers hit and then when when the awards come up for things and the odd timing of all of right, it. Right, and like too Scott many the, too, too many deal. explosions, a lot of explosions. Yeah, way, way too many explode the explosion button we had to freeze them on the explosion button or it would have been all explosions. Um for me as a consumer of again just great content this is unique, right? This is nothing that is out there. There's nothing like it that's really out there. Sketch comedy, and it's also, again, it's, hum it's humanity. I see the two characters really being friends and actually doing what they love to do on a regular yeah. basis. Like, yep, we're just going to create the show. We're going to sell the stuff that we have. Because yeah. everybody right now is in a, what do we do? How do we keep ourselves busy? How do, you know, how do we continue to add value, not even just to our lives, personal lives, but like to other people who, might be interested. So I love, uh, again, whether it was thought out or not on your end, it actually goes deeper, especially in the pandemic that we're in at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Um, yeah, it's really what interesting. else? Uh, uh, so again, for, for, for a continuity standpoint, um, are you guys working on something like this during the pandemic? Obviously, just talking you through what the next episode would look like. Or are you waiting on kind of the, what the feedback is from consumers first um, to kind of take it to the next 
Yeah, yeah this is you, the festival is going to be the first time. This is the first time anybody would even have seen the, the uh, what we put together. Yeah, you guys are the you. world premiere of the whole thing. But mm -hmm. um, and so I think from here we're just going to kind of see where we go next and kind of keep talking about it. I think Steve and I feel like, and Steve, you can speak to this too. Uh, we kind of built what this thing would be. We kind of understood the sort of the, the, the structure of what it can be. And then I think it can just go to madness in, in, in any way that it finds its way down to, to, to your point, to what you're talking about, sort of like however it can work inside of a pandemic and all the rest of everything that's going on in the world. Um, and I think that we, I think that it's always on the back burner for us. It's always something we're, we're thinking about this stupid show because we love doing it. I mean, we, we shot it in two and a half days. It was the most fun I'd had in, in three years. I was, we, we both were just laughing our asses off the whole time and found stupid stuff in the moment. Like, you know, when Steve's doing the little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, stuff, stuff like that. Um, when you have control of things, it's so wonderful. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be able to just do those things that you suggest on a set where people kind of look at you like a, like a dumb, you know, uh, yellow lab. We, you know. we always said, dude, we always talk about the moment on set when Steve and I did a TV show together a few years back. And we talk about this moment on set. We were in a cop car and we were doing a cop show. A, we were both cops in the show. And we're, and we're driving down the cop. And Steve turns to me and I'm driving the car and it's all just ridiculous. It's all just ridiculous. It's all, all of it's ridiculous. We're not cops. The city's not a city. The car's not a car. Like not, not, nothing's real. And Steve, Steve just goes, man, I wish I could just eat a sandwich in this scene. Wouldn't that be <laughs> funny? If I just sat here and you just talk, you just say whatever you're gonna say, and I'm just gonna <laughs> eat a sandwich and some mayonnaise comes out of the bottom and I have to clean my pants. No, and, but... say a word. And, I, and I thought that was the funniest, like it, that just made me laugh. Yeah. And, we, and then from that, from that point on, we were like, we both have the same exact sensibility of what we want to make. And that's really kind of what, was, what it was born of. That's, it's a Fonzie ring, you know. Right. And, and, and if we, we would have said that on the set of, you know, Let's Deal Live, Scott right. would have already been out the door to get a sandwich. <laughs> exactly. Like, I've got exactly. a sandwich, guys. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 amazing how this thing just came about. It was uh, I'm just I'm so proud of how it evolved into this crazy nothing planned. Just like our original face deals, nothing planned. In the actual show that we produced, there was nothing. <laughs> right. Right. You know, I'm I'm hoping that people actually call that number and actually. Oh yeah, do it. Do it. Was, no do people it. do. Does that go yeah. anywhere? Does that phone number go anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it all works. Great. Yeah. I think yeah. I think we should all just call that number and call it up. Tell us what you think. Yeah, if you, if you like this, you should go to the YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All, all 40. And it's just face deals. Two words, face deals. Face deals. And we'll put it on the we'll put it on the screen as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And you, can, you know. Any uh, uh, ayahuasca and, and uh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Any uh, parting words for all the viewers out there um, about anything? Because again, why not throw out anything? What do you got, Z? Man, I really don't have much. Hey, sell that, sell that uh, poster behind. Uh, sell the poster behind Rick. What is That's that? That's the week. That's the week. That's a movie I did a few years back. Uh, you got thirty seconds. Let's sell that poster. Okay. Yeah, let's sell that poster for thirty seconds. Uh, let's deal. Who we got here, oh. Rick? It's it's a poster. Yeah, but it's not like a poster. No, like, this is, no. It's know, go, go to Spencer's Gifts and get a poster. This no. is a really cool poster. It's a because it's, it's a rare. movie that no oh. one has ever seen. Well, no, I think two or three people may have seen it. But I know, but that's why it's, it's super rare. Right. It's super rare. Yeah. Oh, it's I, new, go ahead. How much is it? No. It, this is is one is twenty seven twenty twenty seven twenty seven twenty seven forty three. Twenty seven forty three. Twenty seven forty three. Call in Scott. Give us a call.
up a poster. But you don't get the frame. We get we're keeping the no, frame. No, 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 no. It comes rolled up in a in a tube. I'm keeping the frame for because my mom <laughs> needs to put her. All right, gentlemen. All right. I, I, you sold me the poster. Um, Rick Gomez, Steve Dom. Thank you, gentlemen, so much Thanks, for baby. continue being a great artist that you both are. Um, and here's hoping uh, much success to all Thanks of you. Thanks for supporting us, Jaden. Yeah, really man. Appreciate it. It. Thanks, everybody, for supporting us. Yeah, for watching it. Thanks for calling the number. Call Scott. <laughs>